Also tonight, we are hearing new details in a case of sexual harassment against Governor Andrew Cuomo. While another woman claims he bullied her. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more. Dick. All right, Marissa and Christine, Lindsay Boylan is running for Manhattan Borough President and previously worked for Governor Cuomo. She first made sexual harassment allegations in December. Now she's giving spe specific details. In an essay, Lindsay Boylan writes that when she was in a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the governor in 2018, he stepped in front of me and kissed me on the lips. She claims in another incident that while flying on the governor's plane in 2017, he said, let's play strip poker. Boylan says Cuomo's office had a culture of harassment and bullying, but the Cuomo team has fired back in a statement saying, as we said before, Ms. Boylan's claims of inappropriate behavior are quite simply false. When Boylan first went public in December, Mr. Cuomo said this. I totally respect a woman's right, fought for a woman's right to express any concern, any issue that she has uh, in the workplace. I support that. Uh, but the tweets were uh, simply not true. Still another former Cuomo aide has also come forward with bullying allegations. Karen Hinton, Mayor de Blasio's former press secretary, who wrote of working for Andrew Cuomo in 1995 when he was the federal housing secretary. He made me feel as if I were no good at my job and thus totally dependent on him to keep it. Working for him is like a 1950s version of marriage. He always, always, always comes first. This comes as other public officials say Cuomo bullied them. On a phone call, uh, be rated me for 10 minutes. In an interview last week, Assemblyman Ron Kim of Queens told me Cuomo threatened him after he criticized the governor's handling of the nursing home controversy. He said that he hasn't see, I haven't seen his anger and his ability to, you know, destroy my career and he will go out tomorrow and say stuff like just to just to ruin my livelihood. Now, Governor Cuomo also denies Kim's allegations tonight. State Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins called the claims by Boylan deeply, deeply disturbing. Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty called the allegations serious. Christina Maurice. All right, Dick, thank you.